Good afternoon, Facebook. This is Lori Flickinger coming to you live from Lori's Wellness Loft. And for those of you joining me for the first time, I am a health and life coach and an advanced energy healing practitioner. And my goal is to come on daily to give you little coaching gems that you can start using right away to live a happier, healthier life now. So thank you all for jumping on today. We're coming on a little later. And I got this idea early, early this morning, but I've had a very productive day. And I ran into someone today and I told him I was having a productive day. And he said, he doesn't ever use that word. So do any of you use the word productive to describe your day? Or do you say you just got a lot done? Curious, drop that in the comments below. Okay, so the reason why I decided to talk about this today many reasons and hopefully I don't get long-winded and if I do I want you all to know that I upload these videos to my YouTube channel afterwards so if you miss it and you have to go back to work or do something else you can always go to my YouTube channel at Lori's Wellness Loft to subscribe there and get notifications every time I put something new up okay so in keeping with the new year resolution theme this is usually about the time people start quitting. We talked about this before, right? And the reason why, there's usually three main reasons why people quit. Can you guess one of the three? I'm awarding prizes for this. If you can successfully guess one of the three, you're going to get a little prize for this. So, and unfortunately there's the lag on Facebook, so no one's guessing, so I'm going to have to tell you the first one is I don't have enough time. So think about this, people. Everyone has the same 24 hours of time in the course of a day, okay? And it all depends on how you allocate and budget your time as to what is going to happen first for you. And I always say, I think this is um, uh, Ford said this, the most important thing to do, uh, always do the most important thing first, okay? So always do the most important things first. And what we often do is we busy ourselves with other things that are keeping us from doing that important thing because sometimes that important thing is hard. And a lot of times when you set out to make a change or to do something different, it's going to be hard. I don't want anybody to be afraid of the word hard because what have you ever really achieved in life that was easy, that was worthwhile, okay? I want you to think about that. Like things are challenging and that doesn't mean they're bad. So I don't want you to think that you're gonna cruise through. Yeah, some things are gonna fall in your lap and other things are gonna be hard. So time is the number one BS excuse because we all have the same amount of time. It's just prioritizing your time so that you're able to do the things that are important. I have clients that say to me, oh, Lori, I just can't plan healthy meals. I just can't meal prep. And I look at them, I'm like, what? All you're doing is cooking food, hello, Diane, and putting it in containers. How is that hard? There's a mental block with people that think it's going to be hard to do things differently but you have to get past that mental block. If you are able to get a pan out and put it on the stove and make a meal, you can meal prep. All you have to do is then put it into containers. It's not hard, it's just different. So when you realize that everyone has the same amount of time and that if anybody else has been able to do it, then you can too. Second one that people use as their BS as to why they can't achieve their goals is resources. They think they don't have enough resources to do what they want to do. Uh, resources can also mean money, okay? And I always say, if people give you a money excuse as to why they can't do things, it's another BS. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. I used to have people that came to my studio and would complain they couldn't afford a personal training session for $35, okay? Then they would come in and have like cool sculpting or liposuction and it was 
thousands of dollars. And I used to, I used to say to myself, I wouldn't say it out loud, but maybe the, the Lori of today would say it out loud. The Lori back then wouldn't say anything. You can't afford $35 for a workout, but you can afford $2,000 for something that isn't really even going to work, that you're just going to gain the weight back because you never learned. Right, Tara? I'm talking about excuses as to why people don't succeed. First one is they say, this is BS. They don't have enough time. Second one is they don't have enough resources. And what I say to people is, if it's important and you find value in it, you will find a way to do it. The money is just another excuse as to why you don't want to do it, okay? If you say, oh, I have to ask my husband or have to... Ladies, listen, how many times have you made a purchase and you didn't ask anybody because you wanted it? If you want something bad enough and you value it enough, you're going to make the purchase because you believe that it's going to make a difference, okay? Number three, experience. People will say, especially in the business world or like trying something new. I don't even want to say especially in the business world. People who come to me to just try to reorganize their life will say, oh, I can't do it because I don't have the experience or I didn't have training in here or I didn't go to college for this or I just don't know how to. And I said, that's okay. You don't personally need the experience. If there's anybody else in the world that has been able to achieve the goals that you're setting out to and they've done it, it means it's possible. It is possible for you. And I, you, I think about this with like the Guinness Book of World Records. You know how they have somebody breaks the record for the, the fastest 50 yard dash and nobody believed it was possible. Then all of a sudden, people start surpassing that goal just as soon as they realize it's achievable, it's possible, all of a sudden people start blowing through that new gl glass ceiling. So don't think that you can't do it just because you've never done it. You can resort to people or think of people who have done it, or you can think back to your, thank you for the thumbs up, whoever that was, or you can think back to successes you've had in the past. Think of things that you thought were insurmountable and then you were able to work through it. You came out shining on the other end. Lie, rely on that. The fact that you know that you can succeed if you really put your mind to it. Another one uh, with not having enough experience is like I've, I've had people that uh, I'll, I'll use my daughter. My daughter's an amazing singer. And I said to her the other day, why don't you you know, start putting yourself out there to sing in weddings, sing the Ave Maria, sing church hymns. Like people would love to have you sing. She goes, well, I don't have a degree. I said, how many people are out there singing professionally that don't have a degree? Well, I need a degree first. In her mind, she believes she needs a degree. Is that true? The story that she's telling herself is not true. You have to call yourself on your own BS, guys. If you are setting out to do something and you're making up excuses as to why you can't, you need to call yourself out, okay? And realize that what you're thinking is not always true, okay? Lastly, be ready for this one, guys. This is a drum roll because this isn't something Lori would ever talk about because it's a little negative. But I want you to think about this. A lot of people are afraid of success. I'm sorry, afraid of changing something because they're afraid of the success that comes with it. How will I look differently to my friends? How will they view me? Are they still going to like me? Are they going to exclude me? And guess what, guys? A lot of times, and I don't know if my people that are on right now have any experience with this, sometimes they say it's lonely at the top. And it's true, guys. And I'm not saying this like a kind of a woe is me thing, but as you're climbing the ladder, you're leaving people behind. And the higher you get on that ladder, a lot of times people who don't realize it's possible for them to start to envy you and start to be angry with you and start, you become a, a reminder of how they have failed in their life. 
and then they start pushing you away sometimes. I remember I had a friend that had been a friend of mine for years and followed me on Facebook and she finally wrote me a letter and said, Lori, I love everything that you're doing, but I can't follow you any longer because it really makes me feel so bad about myself because you are everything I always set out to be. I always wanted to have a wellness center. I always wanted to be a life coach and I see you doing everything that I always wanted to do and I just can't bear to follow you anymore because it makes me feel bad about myself. So I need to unfollow you. Wow, right? Does that make me be less Lori? No. It makes me say, wow, I feel bad that she wasn't able to look at what I've done. And like I look at my mentors, and I've said this yesterday, you don't want to be them, but you want to aspire to what they've been able to achieve and model after them. There are many, many people that I model myself after. I don't want to be them, but I don't hate on them because they're so much further ahead of me. They worked a lot harder, they've been at it for a lot longer, and they've fallen down and failed a lot more times than I have. So they fought their way to the top, just like I have done with my career, but that's not going to make me be less me or dim my light because I don't want my friends to feel bad. And I don't want any of you to think that either. Sometimes people feel, if they leave a certain situation or environment and they move on, no one's going to like them anymore. Guess what? The people who are important to you are going to like you or love you even more because you went that extra step and you achieved your goals and they're going to be happy for you. Um, if this was a value, please drop me a one in the comments below. If I lost you, please drop me a two. And please, 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 if you did find value here, hit that little share button in the corner of your cell phone and please share this to your timeline so that your friends and family can also benefit from my lessons. The last one I wanted to tell you is a quote, is experience is learned and earned. Remember that. It's not going to be easy, but it is going to be worth it. Have a happy, healthy day, and I will talk to you soon.